Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer aka Miss Place Moo and I'm excited about this video because I'm going to be overviewing the new Sims 4 graphic override. I'm going to be showing you guys my game before I install it, teaching you guys how to install it, and then showing you my game after. I install it. So we're in the beautiful Sulani. This is obviously before it was installed and I just want to like travel around a little bit with you so you guys can see the graphics as is. Uh, just so you guys know, I usually keep my graphics on ultra. That's how I always play. So this is the graphics on ultra on my computer. Um, it's, it's, you know, looks pretty good. That sunset is gorgeous. I wish I was in Hawaii right now, TBH. So I love Zulani and I wanted to come here because I thought this was the most beautiful world to kind of test this out in. So I'm just looking at the water real quick just to kind of show you guys like this is what the water looks like pre the upgrade. And by the way, it is not just a reshade like we've had in the game before. It is a 100% graphics override. It is only it's going to change the graphics and it's also going to change the way that the game runs, make it run more smoothly. OK, let's go into the install process. All right, guys, so as you can see, I went to Google and I typed in Sims 4 graphics override mod. So we're going to search for that bad boy and we're going to find it right here. Gra graphics overhaul for the Sims 4, how to install. Uh, I'm going to link the mod and I'm also going to link this article for you guys. So um, it's super duper easy to install. So I'm going to tell you what to do. First thing you want to do is click a download because that's important. It's going to take you over here and... Um, we're going to get into it. So you want to go down here and you want to download. Now there's two versions of this mod. The first version is the regular base file. The second version is where you can have um, like things blur in the background. If you want that like, you know, fancy camera look of things blurring in the background. So it's this is the one with the blur in the background. This is the one that is just regular basic. Another thing that I want to say are these are the Mac downloads. So you just want to click on whichever you have PC or Mac and whether you want the blurry background or not the blurry background. We're going to opt for the OG without the blurry background. So let's go to this we're going to click download on here now this is going to ask you where you want to save it to your computer so you can save it wherever you want to i save it i'm going to save mine in videos because i'll just know that that's where i can find it you can save it wherever you want to just take a minute and figure that out once we have this downloaded i'm going to show you guys how to install it all right so now we're on my computer as you see i am fully invested in the beach theme I want to go to the beach. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this PC. OK, and then we're going to go to videos. So if we go to videos, you're going to see the mod right here. So what you need to do is just right click that bad boy. And the good thing is it's not in a zip file or anything. You don't need to have any zip file opener. You're going to right click it and then you're going to select cut. OK, then you're going to go into documents. Then you're going to go into Electronic Arts. OK, once you're in Electronic Arts, then you're going to look for Sims 4. Now, once you're in Sims 4, this is so important, guys. Please, if you're like doing something else right now, if you're whatever, pay attention to the next. Give me your eyeballs for two seconds because this is super easy to install. So all you need to do is go right here where it says Config Override and just put it right in there. So it does not go into your mods folder. It does not go into your saves folder. It does not go into your tray folder. It goes right here in this bad boy config override. It is that easy. So now that it's in that folder, we're going to start up our game and we're going to see how it works. I'm excited to see the difference. Let's see. Oh my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. <gasps> Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Like, oh my God. It looks. <gasps> So much richer. Oh my God. It looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Let's go to the water. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you see what I'm seeing? It looks so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Guys, you have to get this in your game. It is like a game changer. It looks so beautiful. I need to go see what the Sims look like. Come here, girl. Oh my god, Tops. look at how pretty they look. Love the twig. Slow brief. 
They look Soy really, Griff. really nice. Scripto Narge. The textures and everything. Oh my god, look at that palm tree in the back. Sure. That looks beautiful. Mwah. Oh my gosh. Let me just go look at the furniture. <gasps> oh, everything looks stunning. Oh my god, look at look at the curtains. Oh my gosh, look at the curtains. Oh wait, it disappeared when I did that. Hold on. I'm so excited. Look at these curtains, you guys. It looks stunning. Oh wow. Like they really also this is making my game run super duper smooth. Like, I feel like my game is running super smooth, smoother than usual. That is the Sims Graphics Override. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with a friend, tell me what you think, and I hope you have a splendid day.